This is a three-phase total body mountain workout set made up of a cardio, core and balance and proprioception section. Section 1, cardio. Eight exercises, 30 seconds each, alternating high and low intensity exercises to mimic the intensity of an average ski run. You can repeat this two to three times. Exercise one, skaters. Side hop from one leg to the other. Kick your one leg behind you, moving like a speed skater. Side step and holds. Step one foot out and then step your opposite leg to your first foot. Repeat both sides. Back lunge and hop. Step back into a lunge and hop up. Alternate your legs. Forward lunge. The lunge forwards and then return to start position. To progress, repeat with your arms above your head. Burpee volcano. Squat thrust back. Bring your feet in and then explode up into a wide V arm position. Mountain climbers start in a strong plank position and one at a time bring a foot to the outside of one hand back to the start position and repeat on the other side. Bouncing tuck jumps, two small bounces and then a tuck jump. Keep repeating this. Uppercuts, start in a strong semi-squat position and uppercut your arms activating your core. Section two, core. Five exercises, 30 seconds each with a recovery movement between each exercise. Exercise one, dead bug. Start on the floor with your deep stomach muscles activated. Extend one leg and the opposite arm. Repeat on the other side. Prone arch, so you're lying on your stomach with your legs and your arms lifted off the floor. Hold this position for 30 seconds. Advanced option is to pulse up and down. Step two, step through. Start off in a plank position and then step your foot to the outside of your hand and step the opposite leg through. Repeat this on both sides. Plank supermans, start in a good strong plank position. Lift off one hand for two seconds and then the opposite hand for two seconds and then repeat with lifting one foot off and then the opposite foot off. Downward dog and shin touches. Start off in a downward dog and then reach one hand through to the outside of the opposite ankle. Repeat both sides. V-sit crossovers. Start off in a V-sit position. Cross your arms over to one side and lift and lower the leg on the opposite side. Section three, balance and proprioception. Done last while you are fatigued, this will help develop your neuromuscular system, improving stability and reaction times, which may help with injury prevention. Exercise one is your single leg balance. For this exercise, stand on one leg and then lift your knee up to 90 degrees and raise your arms above your head. Repeat this a few times and then challenge yourself by moving your head looking from left to right continuously. Exercise two, compass points. Start balanced on one leg and raise one hand in the air. Touch six points around your body, three in front and three behind. Stay on the same foot and then try and touch the same six points with your foot, three in front, three behind. Once you've repeated each sequence with your feet and your hands, swap legs and repeat on the other side. Hop and stick, start balance on one leg drive sideways and hop and land on the other side. With this exercise, you want to hold your balance before you move to the other side. Hip dissociation, start on one leg and lift your knee and hip out to the side, return to neutral and repeat. 
to advance this exercise, repeat with lifting your knee and hip out to the side and rotate your upper body in the opposite direction. 